Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. In today's video, we have this classic look going on, but with a graphic twist to it since we're having an overhanging crease, hooded eye issue right here. Really in love with my lip color, love the base. Uh, yeah, it's actually super easy and I did it pretty quick. So if you're curious on how I created this look, then keep on watching. So um, since we're not really going to work with darker colors, I feel, you know, comfortable doing my base first. And you guys know I love doing my base the most it's my favorite thing to do um this look is somewhat going to be inspired by my one and only hindesh he did a beautiful look and his models mm. <sighs> i always feel depressed watching his models they're just perfection honestly and they're beautiful i'm going to start with charlotte tilbury flawless filter primer i feel like i gained weight and this chair wants to remind me like every second like now you're not going to do anything like excuse me you hear that yeah, I know, I know. Going in with this one, I do have to say that I feel a tiny bit low energy today. Like Mother Nature decided to give us a beautiful gift. I ate so much chocolate. You guys don't want to know. Tony Chocoloni. Is that, I don't even know if that's Dutch or not. I think it's Dutch. It's the best chocolate ever. So after this beautiful glow, I am going to use a foundation. You guys can probably guess which one I'm going to use. Givenchy. Givenchy um, Everwear foundation because I loved it so much the last time I used it. It's skin like glass, everything. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I'm going in with 310 and I'm going to mix it with 325. My dark circles are pretty bad today. I'm going to correct them with my favorite corrector, Armani number two. Oh my god, I have to sneeze. Okay, I'm going to use this brush. This is from BH Cosmetics in number. Four, and I'm just going to get rid of that blue purple under eye area I'm taking the Natasha Denona neutral yellow concealer and I am going to since this is a matte concealer I'm not going to use um, any powder but I do have to say that I do feel like you have to blend this quite quick so don't wait for it to dry since it's already matte Okay, that looks good. It's a bit light, but I don't really mind it, especially when it comes to more like classic looks. I'm quickly going in with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything looks nice and blended and fresh. To contour my face, I'm going to cream contour and I'm going to use this. I'm not even going to show you the inside. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Contouring Palette. Okay, there you go. There you go. Since the palette is quite light, I'm just going to mix every shade and I'm just going to roughly contour with this. And I'm going to do that with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush in number seven. And uh, just circular motions until it looks, you know, blended. Because this is actually going to be a quick look because we're not really going to do much with the eyes except for doing an eyeliner. And now we're going to do a bold lip, like a nice fresh uh, complexion. And that is pretty much it. Okay, make sure to really get into the hairline or else it's going to look very unnatural. I'm going to use my MAC powder in dark deep. Dark deep. And I'm using this powder brush from Nabla. And I'm just going to set the places where we've contoured. I don't really work precise because I don't want this contour to look too harsh, but more like blended and sun-kissed, bronzed. Before I'm going to powder anything, I'm going to use this Iconic London Original Illuminator, which is my favorite liquid highlighter. I tried so many beautiful highlighters, but this is just my fave. Okay, this is going to be the last time that I'm going to use this brush because it's broken. So hopefully it will behave right now. For blush, I'm going to use this beautiful Bourjois Sisley blush. I love this blush so much. It's a the perfect summer coral peachy blush i don't want to use too much i just want to have like a bit of color on my cheeks i'm quickly going to do my brows off camera and then i'll be right back because we're going to wing it out mm. so i did my brows and now i'm taking the natural lust palette from too faced and i'm just going to use one or two shades on my eyelids like nothing crazy i think i'm going in with call me back right here which looks like a beautiful um crease shade i'm going to use my sigma taper blending brush since i don't really have a 
defined crease I always have to go in with one or two shades I also like to go up a little bit right underneath my brow as usual I'm bringing that color down as well on my lower eyelid I'm still using the same brush but I'm going in with the silk rope color and I'm just going to put that a little bit on my eyelid just to clean it up but also to kind of have a highlight going on and this is my fly liner from Fenty Beauty let's hope okay that this is going to go well because you know overhanging crease problems okay just going to look straight ahead if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial uh, if you have an overhanging crease or hooded eye I will link it in the description box below I always say that I always always forget it okay you're probably thinking this is going nowhere but you really really need to trust me with this so I'm actually just going to fill this in and then look straight again and I fill it in and I look straight again so as you can see it's really like a graphic liner so if I look straight it looks like a normal eyeliner but if we close our eyes it looks graphic which I don't mind because I like it obviously I wish I could just wear you know an eyeliner but no possible so we have to go for a graphic one okay so that is pretty much how it looks like look how cat eye that looks I'm going to point out the inner corner now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my MAC extra lash dimension mascara for lips I'm going to be using a bright red color I remember when I worked for Armani and we called that like as a face designer I remember number 400 was like a universal extremely popular color when someone wanted a perfect red color they will always go for number 400 so that is what I'm going to use today together with the Gigi Hadid Maybelline lip liner in in okay for some reason I can't find the name but uh, the red color oh wow look at that color <gasps> gore just stunning color make sure you have nothing on your teeth when you're wearing red lipstick actually when you're wearing every lipstick but especially with red lipstick I personally really love this look although it's like a graphic liner I know it's not going to be for everyone but still I do think it looks classy with a with a twist you know what i mean like with an interesting intriguing twist and yeah i hope you guys like it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh my god this chair is too annoying i'm going to use my mac i'm going to use my mac mineral mineral i know mineralize